Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel MT Learners. I'm your instructor Mahvish Tahir and today's topic is uh, scenario example for logic gates and logic circuits. Let's start with the scenario. It says a safety system uses three inputs to a logic circuit. An alarm X sounds if input A represents on and input B represents off or if input B represents on and input C represents off. Produce a logic circuit and truth table to show the conditions which cause the output X to be 1. So firstly we will identify the inputs and outputs from this scenario. Here you can see that X is highlighted as green, A as blue, B as red and C as purple. So, an alarm X sounds, which means X is the output. And if input A, which means A is input, and B is also an input, and then C is also an input. So, here you can see that we have three inputs A, B, and C, and one output that is X. Three inputs and then one output. Now we will create a logical statement from this scenario and for this we will start by writing x equals to 1 which means the output x will be 1 if these all conditions come true and for this we will solve this first statement that is a represents on and input b represents off which means a equals to 1 and which is AND gate and input B represents OFF which means the inverse of B that is B equals to 0. Now the next statement starts but you can see here that it's an OR gate so we will write OR and then if input B represents ON and input C represents OFF so B equals to 1 for on and C equals to 0 for off or inverse. Now all of these conditions must be true for X equals to be 1. So we will place parentheses around these two statements. Now we will create logic circuit from this logical statement and three inputs that is A, B and C. So we will place them on the left side and here you can see that X that is the output so we will place it on the right side. Starting from the inner parenthesis that is these two we will solve this firstly and it says a equals to 1 which means this straight line and which means the AND gate this is the AND gate and b equals to 0 which means the values of b should be inverted using NOT gate this is the NOT gate so we will place NOT gate uh, before the AND gate here you can see that b is inverted and this is the b inverse or b equals to 0 now we will join these two a and B inverse with the AND gate and we will get an output that is P. So this is the P. For solving the whole parenthesis we need to solve this parenthesis as well and then we will join both of these with the OR gate. Here you can see that B is straight that is B equals to 1 so we will take the input B right from the start that is before the NOT gate so this is the B and C equals to 0 which means there should be an inverted gate that is NOT gate and we placed here to invert the values of C and we get C inverse now we will join these two with the AND gate according to this gate and we will get the output Q so this whole 
parenthesis is known as Q now we need to solve this whole parenthesis and for doing this we will join P and Q with the OR gate so here you can see that P Q and this is the OR gate and we will get the output x equals to 1 this was the logic circuit for this logical statement now we need to fill the truth table and for doing this we will write three inputs that is a b and c and one output that is x and these are the intermediate points and I named it B inverse P that is previously obtained from the logic circuit then C inverse and Q and this is the output X so to fill the inputs here you can see that the we are having three inputs so by the formula if we are having three inputs we will be using this formula 2 to the raised to power 3 which means 8 it shows that there must be 8 rows that will complete all the combinations for these 3 inputs so simply we will start from the right side of the inputs we are having C starting from here start from 0 and end it with the 1 and we need to place alternative 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 in case of input B we will write 2 zeros two ones two zeros and two ones in case of a we will write four zeros and four ones now let's suppose uh, we are having four inputs in that case two to the raised to power four which means sixteen so we will be adding an other column here let's say it's D for that case uh, you will be writing eight zeros and then will we will extend the table and the D column will be having eight ones and these two will be repeated as it as it is that is zero one and zero one for the C and for the B double zeros and double ones and for A four zeros and four ones and we will be having a table that will be having 16 rows now let's start the table by uh, get solving the intermediate values to get output firstly we need to solve this value to get the P for this we will need to solve B inverse first as you can see that a is the original value that is a equals to 1 so we need to solve this for this we need to invert each value of b that is 0 will become 1 you can see here that all the values are inverted for b now you can see that this is a which means a equals to 1 then this is b inverse b equals to 0 we need to solve this by using AND gate so AND gate says if both values both input values are having 1 then the output will be 1 here you can see that these are the only two rows which are having 1's so we will write 1 in each of the rows and other rows will be having the values 0 so now we will solve the next parenthesis for getting Q and for this we need to solve firstly the C as we have done this for B so we will inverse the values of C 0 will become 1 and 1 will become 0 and, and this will be done for the whole column now we need to solve this whole parenthesis for this we are having B and C inverse and we need to operate it with the AND gate 
so this row and this row these two rows are having ones so we will place ones here and remaining rows will be having output zero now we are having the values p and q that is this is p and this is q we need to join this by or so we will be using or gate here and or gate says if any of the input is 1 then the output will be 1 so 1 as we are having q1 then again 1 because we are having p1 again 1 due to p1 1 because q equals to 1 and others are zeros now we are having this final output and you can see here the whole table filled by using a step by step process that was all for today thank you for listening take care goodbye